Hi, welcome to iReview New York City. Okay, so we're going to be reviewing a product here that's called a wristband communicator, which is supposed to be like a watch slash Bluetooth headset. Um, saw this on in Gadget, I believe, and uh, this has come all the way from Canada. So, standard box. As you can see, eight and a half by six and a half by three. Um, so let's open it up and see what's in here. And I usually open boxes with this precious cleaver here. So let's see how this works. And I usually open it upside down just so I don't damage the product. And put that little way and here we go. What do we have here? Open it up, and we have <clears throat> Helium Digital products. And basically, it's a bunch of crap. So that's over there. Um, it comes with this beautiful paper, which, uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, and then it comes with your receipt. Nothing else inside that box. So that's that. And here we go. This is it. It's the Helium Digital Wrist Communicator. Um, basically with incoming call vibrate alert. So basically when you have this on your wrist and you're getting a call, your wrist will vibrate. Living here in New York City and have my iPhone in my pocket I don't always hear my phone and the vibration sometimes I don't always hear it either and I've tried pretty much every single Bluetooth headset out there and none of them work for me personally so it's just you know a new product something maybe will help me find out um, to help me a little better anyways basically what it says here is it's, uh, it has built-in speaker and mic clear and, and discreet vibration distance alert so I guess if you're getting away from your phone, it'll tell you you're too far. And this is where I'm excited about this here. I just learned this. Uh, learned about this. It's the A2DP music streaming. So basically, you can stream your music um, to this communicator, which is <coughs> for your wrist. I don't know how. Well, we'll get into that in a moment. How it how it sounds. But basically, you open this up, and here it is, still in this plastic container. You have this box here. There's nothing there. This box probably is instructions. Yep, instructions. I never read instructions. Um, if I get stuck, empty box, and then the power cord, which is standard power cord. This actually looks like uh, every other power cord that I have for all these other gadgets. You mini USB. That's that. All right, so let's just put this back in here for display purposes. See what you get. All righty. All right, so here it is now. Okay, here it is. This has a sliding door that kind of opens up like a DeLorean door from the old Back to the Future car, which is pretty cool, actually. Pretty impressive. All right, so I'm going to take this puppy out. Put that aside. And... It's on. Cool. All right, so on this side we have volume rocker up, down, and I believe this is the port for charging. Yes, it is. It's a little rubber port here. Nothing here. Just those things on that side. You turn it around here. You have the microphone here. You have LED indicator here. You have the universal button and the speakerphone or speaker to your phone. And uh, Helium Digital HDBT 990 made in China. Why am I not surprised it's made in China? Okay, here we go. So we're going to put it on our wrist and we're going to pair it with the iPhone and see um, what goes on here. So let's That's off. 
that's on and now it's in pairing mode all right so um, let's do, just do that again here so you understand okay it's off now that's on keep holding and now we're in pairing mode so I'm going to grab my iPhone which is here and I'm going to set this up to work with that so let's see here and the beauty about the iPhone is that when they did enable this A2DP it was just so much more okay here it is so we're going to pair it Yes, I would like to pair. Ooh, it vibrates. I got a little shock. So it, I know that I'm going to, when I get a call, <laughs> I'm going to feel that, which is great because now I, I can answer my phone. All right, so let's, um, it's, it's paired. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, I don't want to make a phone call, but let's listen to a voicemail and see what it sounds like. Wow. That's loud. Monday through Thursday, 7 a.m., 7 p.m., Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Wow, okay, so 7 to 12 the sound is amazing on this thing. And that lets you know it's too loud. So let's listen to that again at full volume. That's pretty good. Friday, pretty impressed. Okay. No, I can't. I was trying to shut the uh, voicemail off with the button, but I guess I can't. I got to do that with the phone. Uh, maybe if I read the instructions, I'll be able to figure that out. But right now, it uh, it doesn't do that. So the next thing is the, the thing that I'm actually looking forward to is the um, streaming of music to your uh, wrist. So here we go. We're gonna pop in a song here and see how it sounds very low what happens when I do this? Oh, it's calling someone, so we don't want to do that. Awesome. All right, let's let's listen to a really loud song and see how it sounds. Wow. That's pretty damn good. Okay, so that, that is pretty much it for this unboxing. We will come back with the actual sound quality of, the, of making a phone call and how it sounds in a noisy environment like in New York City or um, in a non-noisy environment and see how it sounds. Um, so anyways, that so far is it. So far so good, but the true test will be whether or not you can hear. All right, I review New York City. Stay tuned for part two. Later, dudes.